Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. It's, it's really nice if you can play just song, but you have to practice. Practice routine is really important. So you saw uh, last, last video last week, I went over practice routine for beginner. So today, we're going to intermediate, next level. So a little bit more difficult. So I'm adding a little bit more different idea on chromatic scale, major scale form, and triads. All right, so we'll do those. And maybe root 37 if we have the time to do it. Okay, so I'm getting a little closer to you. But I'm really happy to hear that everybody really understand and, you know, uh, enjoyed about um, beginner uh, practice routine. So last one, you see the pro, pro, um, chromatic scale was everything all downstroke, right? Like that. So now we can play all down and then no noise, right? So, so this level you want to try a little bit faster, but also maybe eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and down up. You see? They go slowly, softer. softer sustain and from here going back so now it's a little difficult to do because noise issue maybe a little slower and remember maybe I should move this way okay so you use you know palm muting bottom uh, sixth and uh, fifth string, right? So muting. And softer. Once again, your thumb position around the center, okay? So right, that's why we are practicing um, chromatic scale only fourth and the third string. So you do the third string and do not pick too hard. Oops. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Because they were watching. So idea is, you don't have to play too fast. But this time, you are going to do down, up, down, up. You know, down, up motion, okay? So then gradually, little faster like that, fine. But no finger noise. Especially uh, descending line. See, it's really easy to make a noise. So make sure descending line slightly uh, slower. Like that. Oh, noise. See, already I'm making noise there. So I will do like a little slower, okay? And as you see, um, the video that I made, seven things to you know practice um for the practice routine uh, let's see where is a paper here you go so uh, looks like this so look at the first one right one two one two three two one two three four three two one two three four that's like you know ascending line so each time you do the pattern so you know learn the pattern and when you go descending, four two, I'm sorry, four three four three, two three four three, two one two three, four three two one. 
Okay, so what you want to do is like, you know, um, sorry about the lighting here. So slowly. And no noise. No sliding. So this, this is a little difficult, okay? Keep going like that. Then at the 12 frets, no sliding, shifting. So here's the rule, if you want to play faster, always play softer, because difficult to do. If it's difficult, you have to slow down. So this is a game. You want to play faster, but you play softer. You can do it and slower. You repeat this all the time. So that way, what, what's going to happen is your technique will become really good. Okay? All right. So that, chromatic. Next one. Uh, major scale. So we learn major scale like this. Then we work on Do, Mi, Re, Fa, Mi, So, Fa, Da, So, Ti, Da, Do, Ti. Intervals, you know, intervals, right? And then you did, you know, fifth string, and then you, you have to do all the other string. So now, um, this time, two things I want to try. One is in a little bit more form. This is an A major scale. Oops. So more like an E form, you know. Again, um, I showed you this one. Uh, like this. I, you can get anywhere. You see the bottom one? It says E form. Looks like, you know, open E chord, but bar chords. So that's there, caged, you know. Caged the form an E, right? Like that. So, okay, you got that? Okay, one, two, three. All right, so now we got that. So now um, you can play anywhere, but this case, if I play A, obviously you have to know A, B, C sharp, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. See, guitar is the only instrument that no need to learn key signature and you can learn just because we don't read the music so if that a uh, little too much to do then you can do c scale here from you know seventh fret c scale like that probably better like that c d now e f g half step whole step now a b and a half step so you have part is guitar is not really you know uh, designed for the C a lot of the sharp key that's why a little easier for teach G or A but then a lot of sharps you know and I continue to do this slowly to learn for then from here so All downstroke when you learn something simple. So you learn ethos. Sometimes we can do eighth notes. Oh, 
One more thing you want to try. Eventually, you want to learn. I mean, if you learn major scale, basically you're learning mode. Mode is Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, <laughs> Phrygian, and you know, uh, so many different names. Okay, confusing. So, once again, you don't have to do everything. In same time so usually I pick something more useful like if you play like a bluesy jam so sometimes you can use mixolydian sound and you want to learn what is mixolydian mixolydian is root major second major third fourth fifth major six plus seven that's the only difference between major scale so really nice to know like this mode So that's, okay, C scale, right? So when somebody said, do you understand Mixolydian scale? Yes. The bluesy plus seven. Okay, so, so, and then Dorian scale is C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, means flat three in a flat seven, so flat three, then flat seven. So you want to learn that. Of course, you you know you have to learn a little bit of theory. If you want to learn more theory, you can visit my website, Guitar Wisdom. We have theory section, twenty different lessons, so many of about the mode and a lot of different things. Okay, so learn that. Okay, so same way if you do C scale from here. Okay, but then if it's mixolydian, flat seven. If it's a Dorian, flat three. Like that. So you see, it's not magic. You have to learn music theory to understand the difference between Ionian, mixolydian, and Dorian. Not so much about shape. So that's why if you learn from tablature, you can learn quickly, but you have no idea what's going on. And ended up you learn shapes. What's gonna happen is you learn just shape, you are shifting shapes. So you do forever. It's not true like free improvisation. Okay. So I like to teach mode and triads because this what we call foundation. That's why this intermediate level slightly difficult to do, but you can try, okay? So now you learn C scale here, position. You can add, add like this, this is different sequence. Same thing, do mi re fa, do re mi do. See, this is a theory, because you use certain scale, and you learn that without the patterns, and you learn sequence, and you can follow it. Little bit more fun once you understand that. Okay, so 
it takes a little time, but just, you know, be patient. So now, after that, next week, we can go to advance in the third week, you know. <laughs> but you see the difference. That's what I, okay. So review triads, C triads, so do mi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. That's what you learned last week. Then you learn different key, F. First inversion, second inversion, root, like that. Maybe B flat, root position. First inversion, second inversion. So now memorization. You understand the triad inversion and you learn how to change. It's you know, tough to do. So if you do from fifth string and like that, you learn, okay? But then when you do F, second inversion. After the second inversion, always root. After root, it's first inversion, like that. So this time, you're adding second, third, fourth string. Little bit different, you know. So C is this, root position. First inversion, this. Or here. And this is second inversion. So you have to really learn. First inversion, mi so do, so do mi. Second inversion, right here, and root position eight, seven, six. Then first inversion fourteen, twelve, thirteen. But this is a shape of a root position. This is a shape of a first. Very useful, Keith. Keith Richard. Now you have to do this week, change to F. So F is F, A, A, C. Again, you have to learn a little bit theory, which is root is F. So root is F, and then A is major third, C is minor third, I mean five. What I meant, major third and minor third, you know. So, so here, F. Sorry about that, oops. Right? And then first inversion here. Seven, five, six, and one finger right here. Eight, eight, eight. I'm also ten. See, I don't, I'm not really good at numbers. So this week you learn like that. Okay, and you learn from the fifth string, sixth string, same shape. If it's, you know, second inversion, like that, second inversion here, like that, first inversion, first inversion, root position. And I made a lot of different videos, uh, try the inversion. So you want to watch three ways to do it, like you know, vertical, horizontal, and the same one. I don't do it here, so you save that time to watch the other videos. So now, finally, what you're gonna do is applying triads. So this one, intermediate level, you have to apply. So you learn something, you have to apply to next level. You see, chromatic scale or downstroke, change the down upstroke, and change the patterns. Major scale, you learn different position, and even same position, you learn Dorian scale, Mixolydian scale, just a little bit more. And after that, way, way easy, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna do B flat blues. So, in this case, you have to first know B flat triads, B flat triads, root position, 3 3 1, root position. First inversion, 7, 6, 6. Second inversion, middle note is root. Like that. Okay, so 10, 11, 10. So here. So that, B flat. Now go E flat. Here, second inversion, E flat. 
blue position, first inversion. So easy to learn, middle note is root, middle note, E flat. Bottom note is E flat. Top note is E flat. The B flat twice. Going down. E flat. Now five chord with F. So five chord we have to go first inversion, second inversion, and like that. Okay, right? E flat and B flat. Try F. Then you can go down B flat. And E flat. A lot of work. This way you follow the chords. So, guitar wisdom, I have entire section is a triads. <laughs> so you won't miss it. Especially um, foundation trial section, a lot of trials. Then one more you wanna try something like you know. E minor, C, so what happens is if somebody play that chord, a lot of people know G is 1, G, A, B, C, D, D is a 5, E minor is a 6 minor, C is a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, again, theory, you have to understand that. Just so you need to understand a little bit about theory, then after that, everything much, much easier and then nothing to memorize it. So, you know, so now you follow G top three strings, okay? So you find the G first inversion. After the first inversion, always triangle shape, D shape, second inversion. After that, always back to root. Little bit tuning issue, but that's okay. So you, like that, that's good enough. The D second inversion. Now E minor, maybe from here second inversion. So you have to know regular E major, top notes is major third. So you change. See theory, no memorization. Major. Is this now you change the minor and here major minor so you're sorry the C from root one more time G and D E minor And C. So I play Do Re Mi 
root, second, third from each chord. And I play two together. See? You can practice like that. From D. Minor third. Because E minor. And somebody will say, oh, Tomo, that's too easy. I can do that. All right. So then you want to learn like this. B minor. F sharp. A. E. G. Of D. Kind of similar. E minor. F sharp. Can you do that? Okay, good job. All right. Thank you so much. A lot of information, you know, but um, it's fun. Definitely fun. So you see, beginner practice exercise idea really inspire your practice routine just using simple stuff. Now, intermediate, you can advance a little bit from here, right? So you always change to, you know, down up motion instead of all quarter notes, eighth notes, and different position to learn and try as play over chord progression. That'd be nice. All right, are you ready? Next week, I'm going to show you advanced level of practice routine. So a little bit difficult, but uh, so this is guitar, Mason Mahogany from Orange Wood. This is really nice, you know, has a cutaway and very easy to play. So um, each level, I change the guitar. <laughs> Thank you so much. So if you like my video, please subscribe. Tomo Fujita Music, and please share with your friends. If you want to learn more idea, details, you can join my Guitar Wisdom below here. All the, always the information in the description, okay? That's it. So have a great day. So see you next week. Take care. Bye.